morning and welcome to another five minute training tidbit and today we're going to talk about the 3 to 10 rule we're going to talk about chimney height and a few considerations that you want to have in mind whenever you're talking chimney height whenever you're looking at chimneys whenever you are doing your inspection you see that's a critical thing out there is chimney height so what we want to make sure is that you understand completely about chimney height the important things to look at in regards to chimney height so you can do your job the best way see now i've got a couple of drawings up here see when we go back if we actually look at what we call the three two ten rule we've got to remember that was implemented for safety not for performance and since the time that rule has been implemented construction standards have changed tremendously so today you got to be looking often beyond what is that three to ten rule and you got to go and look a little bit deeper is because three to ten may not give your customer the right performance and if you're there and you're inspecting and you don't note these things or if you do repairs to the chimney and performance problems ensue then you're going to own these performance problems and we don't want to own the problems that our customers have so you want to be looking as you look at the drawing to the left you're seeing i've got a red arrow and the red arrow is pointed at the peak of the house and there we have an area where the attic is vented, which is very common now that attics are vented. So if the attic is vented, and you can see that it is taller than the top of the chimney or the stack, we could have an issue in our performance. And if there's an issue in performance, this is the problem, you own it from that point. Now this is a drawing that I pulled off of Google Images because it so clearly illustrated a couple issues. Now the first thing is, if you look at that chimney stack, you can see there's a direct vent cap coming out the side wall. So this chimney, even though I'm gonna talk about it, is basically what it's there for is looks on the home and they have put a direct vent gas appliance in here by the look of the cap on the side. But let's just imagine this is being used for wood burning or it is any type of naturally vented appliance. But when you look at that, you can see that the chimney may meet the height requirements because the two roofs, one is 10 foot away, the other one is 17 foot away. But the problem is we could still draw from the chimney because of the height of the house. This is what we call stack effect. Now, as you also look, you can see what's also common, which is a gas appliance that's venting out the roof in the metal vent pipe that's inside the red circle. Now, you can also see that this is below the height requirements. Now, on gas, gas calls for a 2210 roll, but again, if it's naturally vented, we could have issues. So one of the things is something can meet codes or standards, but it may not perform. That's a key consideration in this discussion we're doing today in today's training tidbit. And that is, will the unit, will the appliance perform with the venting system? Because the performance of the appliance is so often going to be key to is the venting system working properly. So we got to make sure that we're working properly with our venting system. And while we're talking about this, let's remember what is stack effect. Stack effect is where the air in the home is rising. And as it rises, it will go out leaks in the home. And what this can cause is, is all kinds of performance issues. And if these leaks are higher than the termination point of your chimney, where the combustion gases will exhaust into the outside atmosphere, this is going to result in a potential issue in performance. So keep in mind, as we talked earlier, the 3 to 10 rule, what it was all about originally, it was all about safety. And with today's construction standards and other things that have gone on and the way we are weather signaling our houses today and the way that we build today and the way we remodel and weatherize houses, this may not be enough. So what I'm going to encourage you to do today and every time that you're doing an evaluation, when you're quoting for repairs, does it meet a high enough standard in height 
to actually perform. It's a key consideration. Now, for more information on this, hey, we've got a great class. It's all about pressures in homes. If you haven't listened to it, it's right here on our platform. I'm going to highly recommend it so you can understand all the leakage points that can affect the performance of your appliance. Because again, you don't want to do work and own a problem. So that's why you need to open your eyes, see what's going on. And that does it for today's training tidbit. Hey, let's go out and let's not let's really knock our customer socks off today. Let's build some enthused customers. Let's grab more reviews. Let's build testimonials because today's what it's all about. Focus in today, leave your problems behind, and let's go make it happen. Have a good one. Talk to you next time.